Okay, so we're gonna get started on editing some audio. Now, I decided to re-record this because I think I did it a little bit inefficiently last time. I demonstrated this process in class and it was faster than when I had recorded the video, so I'm doing this again. I'm gonna be editing audio from a podcast that I just recorded. I record it every week. It is a local newscast. It's gonna give you all the examples of what you need to do. I probably won't edit the entire thing on stream. I guess we'll see. Uh, <clears throat> we'll see how long it's taking me. But I'm just gonna teach you again and review if you weren't in class this week or if you just forgot what I was talking about. Maybe you were out of it in class and you're like, uh, I can't deal with this. I've been there. So hopefully you can watch this back and uh, get whatever information you need to know. So I'm gonna start out by, I have audition open, so you need to do that. <clears throat> First thing you need to do is go create a folder. All of this is, of course, listed in the in the the actual assignment right here. Go and create a folder. I have one uh, podcast folder. This is episode seventy eight. I've already created the folder. You should have a you know a class folder for sound design one, and then you should also have underneath that a folder for each week and the assignments or whatever you're doing that week. Yeah, you know relevant files. So this is my raw recording. Uh, this is what you would have submitted to me last week. So I just want you to go ahead and um, make sure it's in the folder, the project folder that you're gonna be working in, and then you can drag it in. You can just drag it straight in and drop it here. Hey, what's up, Cold? I have chat turned off just because I'm recording something for class, but it's nice to see you this morning. How are you? <clears throat> Okay, we're gonna do some really basic editing stuff. So here's my raw recording. Uh, looks about like y'all's. I think that I learned something this week in teaching all of you. I think I was, I think I generally, I think I said this, but I kind of want things recorded a little bit too loud. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I want things turned in like, you know, like this, right? But even this is probably, it's not too loud, but this, Oops, this is totally acceptable. I mean, this is perfect. And the way that we know it's perfect, again, is going to be by checking our meter over here on the right. Let's just play this back. And the way that we know it's perfect, again, is going to be... Oh. <clears throat> uh, you're doing... All right, what about you? Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. I have that feeling of, like, I woke up early this morning and kind of was productive. I'm being productive right now, so I... You know, that's always a good feeling, I guess. So let's watch our meter, you know, if we're playing back. If you're trying to review your own audio to make sure it sounds okay, then just watch your meter. The weekly community newscast for Rio Blanco County, Colorado pulled. You can see that I'm uh, pretty <clears throat> consistently peeking into the yellow. If you're dealing with a more of a noisy environment while recording, then maybe you do want to get it a little bit louder for a better signal to noise ratio, but it, it's really going to depend. So if you're, you're submitting audio like this, this is pretty much perfect as far as I know. And uh, I'm constantly learning, but I think that especially if you're working in a relatively quiet environment, this is this is this is perfect audio right here uh, in terms of recording. It could get louder, but you still have headroom. Blah 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 blah. I'm not going to go on about that for too long. So, anyways, um, step one: create a project folder, import into Adobe Audition. So again, I just drag it from the folder into Audition. You can also do File, Open, and you can. Navigate to the folder that way if you feel like doing doing that. Anything that I say is going to apply to Mac or PC. I'm using PC as you can see. Okay, three is going to be turn up audio if needed. My audio is about where I want it to be. Um, I can, I might turn it up just because I'm going to eventually turn it up later. But of course, if you if your audio looked like this when you turn it in, <clears throat> you definitely need to turn it up. Uh, to the point where, again, if you play it back, Rangeley Police Department welcomed new patrol officer Brad. You see your meter on the right side here, peeking into yellow. Bradley Burr, who was sworn in at the January 25th town council meeting. A White River Planning Advisory Committee is set for February 9th. In so this is about where I want it to be. I might turn mine up a little bit. I'm just going to give it three decibels. This is mostly for editing purposes. Again, remember, we're going to turn this up later and compress it <clears throat> so that we can get a louder average volume which is what you want when you're sort of like mastering something but i'm just going to turn mine up and uh, we can hear it and it sounds good so 
Starting off with step one is going to be trimming the beginning and or end. Um, you can see that in mine, I'm just gonna keep making stream markers every time I get to a step. Starting with mine, here is the, uh, and actually I'll, I should tell you first, Okay, if you don't remember, the way that I'm zooming in is by scrolling forward. I don't have to push any other keys to zoom or zoom in or out. I'm just scrolling forward, okay? Or scrolling back. And if I put my mouse, let's say I put my mouse right over here, uh, around 5 minutes and 30 seconds. Scroll forward, zoom in. Scroll backwards, zoom out. There are other ways of doing this. You can push plus and minus, but that's not going to scroll in a specific spot. It's just going to zoom in broadly. And then you can use this thing to move around. I mean, you can use whichever method you want. I prefer scrolling in and out because you can zoom in precisely on a certain spot. If you're using one of those Apple mice that they have in the labs, you know, the, the, if, that they have in the Mac labs with the tiny little ball, those things are terrible for this. They're really genuinely bad and might give you a bad impression of, <clears throat> you know, what scroll editing or zooming in and out in waveform is like. So... If you, if you tried it on there and got a, you know, a bad experience, then I would suggest you try it with a different mouse. But anyways, <laughs> let's get to the point, which is editing your, uh, the beginning. And you want to cut some stuff out of the beginning. So I just have a little bit of stuff here. First way I'm going to teach you so to select things, click, drag over, and then you can just hit delete or backspace. Um, you also will want to do this. I recorded this in a studio that is quiet and I was using a gate, <clears throat> which I'll explain later. But as you can see, I don't really have any noise. Every single one of the files that y'all submitted had noise, which is fine and normal. So you're going to want to click up here at the top left of the editing window. And you want to just drag that over to the right. And you'll see if I drag it over far enough, it'll actually show you what kind of fading it's doing. But you just want to build that little fade in before your actual talking. And it, this is a bad example because you can't see it. But I know on yours that there's noise. So then you can go to the end if you want. Or you can just do this part at the end once you get through the other editing. I'll just go to the end just for good measure. And it looks like I basically already trimmed the end. But again, if you have extra stuff here, you probably will. You want to click and drag over. And just delete whatever's extra. Fade it in. Or fade it out rather by using up here in the top right corner, this little square that you click and drag. Okay. Um, just one thing to pay attention to, I guess, because I, I just did it on accident. If you put your mouse over these uh, meter numbers on the right side and you scroll, it's gonna, it's gonna change the relative, it's not actually changing the volume, it's just changing the relative size of the waveforms. So the way you get it back to normal is you look for zero, zero's right here, and you want zero to be once zero disappears, then this is what the actual thing is. I don't know if you can, like, reset it. Let's see. Um, okay, you can right-click here, and then you can do zoom reset. I've never done that before. Apparently, you can also use a percentage, which is pretty interesting. If you right-click, you can change. I'm just going to leave it on decibels. That's what I'm, <clears throat> that's what I'm familiar with using. Uh, but I might experiment with the others sometime. Okay, so we've edited our, again, we've done step three. Oh, I guess we did turn it up a little bit. Um, step four, edit trim beginning and end. Okay, then we're going to cut noises, ums, etc. Should this be two steps? I don't know. Technical writing is annoying. <clears throat> so I'm just going to show you basically some selection tools and some editing tips and tricks. The main thing, the first thing you need to know is scrolling in and out, in my opinion. Again, you can get away with not doing that, but... I really suggest that you do get used to zooming in and zooming in a decent amount to where you can actually see these differences or you can see the space in between uh, actual spoken words. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Extra Extra. That's it. The weekly community. I'm just going to leave all that. Like, I could, if I wanted to, I could shorten this. Um, but I'm not going to. The way I would shorten is, again, I'm going to zoom in, click, drag over, and delete. <clears throat> That's the easiest way of making selections. I'm going to show you another way when I find an opportunity to do so. 
but uh, we'll just keep going through this until we find something to edit out, which we, we will. That's it. The weekly community newscast for Rio Blanco County, Colorado, pulled directly from the February 3rd print edition of the Rio Blanco Herald Times. Okay, so I you can see that there's this line here. This is a marker that I created while recording. The way you create a marker while recording or after the fact is with the M key, M as in mouse. I don't know what the official military phonetic word is for M. I'm trying to think of it, but I don't know. Um, <clears throat> M as in mouse. Uh, we'll create a marker and then you can right click up here and delete marker. But this marker I put here, because I'm going to put a transition here. So I'm actually not going to edit the length of this. But uh, for what you are all working on, you're probably going to want to... Let's say I wasn't going to put a transition here. I would go of the Rio Blanco Herald Times. And then I'll just let it sit. Normally what I'll do if I'm trying to figure out... I'm artificially creating a space in between these words. M is for Mike. Oh, that's right. Aspen6x6ix on stream pointed out that M is for Mike in the military phonetic alphabet. Is that what it would be called? M16, yeah, and America. <laughs> M as in America. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. There you go. Good answers. Good answers from the chat. Okay. So what I am going to do is, again, let's say you have a space, a little bit of extra space, and you don't want it. Um, in this case, I am going to put a transition here later, but I'm just going to pretend that I'm not, and I'm trying to edit these together. I'm just going to highlight and drag there. Or actually, here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to let this play, and I'm just going to listen and think of, like, where would where would the next word naturally start? Like, just based on my intuition. Very third print edition of the Rio Blanco Herald Times. Let it play. And then, like, right about here, maybe, is where I would start it. <clears throat> so I'm going to make a selection from about here. It doesn't have to be super precise, but about here to almost all the way up to that waveform. I don't want to cut it off, you know what I mean? But So maybe leave a little bit of extra space. If you need to zoom in, if you want to get hyper precise, you can literally zoom in to the samples level, which is pretty crazy. <clears throat> Not really necessary, but it's just something it, you can do it. If you're trying to make precise edits. And then I would hit delete of the Rio Blanco Herald time. And always when you're making an edit like this, I'll say this once, maybe one more time, whenever you're making this ki kind of edit where you're changing the, you know, you're basically artificially setting the time between one sentence or phrase and the next sentence or phrase or one word and the next word, you wanna make sure that you go back a ways enough that you can hear what happened before so you can hear it in context to see if it sounds natural. I could go all the way back this far, but since this is kind of a standalone phrase, I can just play it back from here. Of the Rio Blanco Herald Times. And in case you don't know this already, I'm using spacebar to play and pause. Um, some people will do this. That's gonna just take you forever, and I wouldn't suggest that you do it. <clears throat> just a note of the Rio Blanco. Actually, technically I'm doing play and stop. Uh, pauses something different. So just 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 something to keep in mind. Print of the Rio Blanco Herald Times. This week's edition came alongside a whirlwind of happenings, including the mysterious case of the missing newspapers. I'm gonna add effects to this. <clears throat> Not on this stream because I don't want to get distracted, but as it turned out, the missing papers of the missing newspapers. Okay, it's kind of like echo and reverb and stuff like that. I might just delete a little bit of this. So you can see I zoomed in, made a little selection by click dragging. And you can see I'm getting this little whatever this is, as it, which you can't even really hear. But I'm just going to do it anyways for OCD reasons. Listen back. Curious case of the missing newspapers. As it turned out, the missing papers reappeared on a postal truck as of Friday morning. I might even like shorten that up a little bit more. It's just like a tad too long. Mysterious case of the missing newspapers. As it turned out, the missing papers reappeared on a postal truck as of Friday morning. Hey, what's up, Professor Q? Nice to see you. <clears throat> Welcome to the stream. I'm just doing a short one today. I'm recording something for my class, and it's just, it's better if I record it by streaming it, because then I can just 
export it to YouTube and then I can link it them directly to it. I feel you on the OCD. Yeah, you can get OCD on these edits for sure, including the mysterious case of the missing newspapers. But how are you doing, Professor Q? As it turned out, the missing papers reappeared on a postal truck as of Friday morning, mixed up with some other mail. So, if, okay, so here's an example of something that you're probably all going to be dealing with are these mouth sounds. More or less, depending on the microphone, distance, your personal way of talking, etc. Um, but you're going to want to get rid of these mouth sounds. <clears throat> so there are two ways of doing this. One, you can click and select and delete it. Uh, as I've already showed you, but since you already know how to do that, I'm going to show you a different way. And that's going to be to make a selection. And I'm actually going to select all the space between both of these, because why not? And I'm going to go up to effects and I'm going to go to silence. Okay. Now this is something that I use so often that I have a halt, uh, a halt, a halt key, spell that H A L T key. Now I have a hot key for this alt S alt S for silencing things because sometimes you don't necessarily want to delete something out of the actual time of your edit. You just want to silence it. This will apply to breaths. This will just apply generally to like, I don't know, in this case, there's kind of a longish pause. So I, I might actually just delete this one, some other mail. So if you missed, Okay, one second. I have to give the child entertainment. One second. Do to do, do. Okay. I'll make another stream marker. <clears throat> okay. Uh, good man. Just getting going. Thanks for the convo on Thursday. Yeah, that was, that was really good. Uh, I like that a lot. Mixed up with some other mail. So if you missed, so if you missed your delivery, okay, so this is a, another example of where I can edit mixed up with some other mail. So if you missed, so if you missed, so I was trying to say, so if you missed your delivery, but I screwed up the first one and I can actually see where it is. So again, I'm just going to click, select that delete, and then play it back to make sure this space in between sounds natural mixed up with some other mail. So if you missed your delivery, well, Sorry, it should be on its way. Should be. Or maybe you've already got it. Okay, here's a, an, again. Um, I don't, I, I don't want this little in there. Or maybe you, it's kind of subtle, but. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm going to just delete that. 
<clears throat> or I could silence it, but should be. Or maybe you've already got it by the time you hear this. Now, let's get to it. And by it, I mean this week's news. Okay, so you can see I made another marker here while recording. Again, you can make markers with M. M is for Mike. M is for America. <clears throat> I'm going to edit out the stuff in between real quick because, like, I can see that we have this little noise. America. <laughs> Tweaks news. Okay, so I'm just going to edit out uh, that stuff. And this marker is going to stay here. I'm going to edit this later and put a transition here in multi-track, but I'm not doing that right now. Starting things off, a story that broke after our print deadline, the alleged kidnapping of Suzanne Edinger, who was found safe Thursday. A full report will be available in next week's edition. Yeah, somebody got kidnapped in our town. <laughs> um, a full report will be available in next week's edition. If you're wondering, class, why I did that, it's because somebody in chat demanded it. Well, not demanded, just implied that they wanted it. Right, cold? Maybe I should have chat on for context. You just never know. You just never know what these chatters are going to say. It was found safe Thursday. A full report will be available in next week's edition. And just want to note, you can find the links to all stories referenced in this newscast in the show description. Rangeley Police Department, welcome to... Okay, so I'm just kind of skipping around. I guess I should actually be listening to this and making sure that these transitions are, you know, or the space in between these is natural. Kidnapping of Suzanne Edinger, who was found safe Thursday. A full report will be available in next week's edition. Make sure you're on your best behavior chat. Next week's edition. And just want to note, you can find the links to all stories referenced in this newscast in the show description. In the show description. Rangeley Police Department, welcome to New Patrol. Might be a little bit too short. So if you make an edit that you don't like, you can just control Z or command control Z or command Z and undo if you need to. In the show description. Rangeley Police Department, welcome to New Patrol. Office. And you're basically just gonna repeat this process throughout the entirety of your uh editing process. Get rid of you know any ums change up the spaces, silence things in between. The timing of Mohaha and someone got kidnapped is kind of sus. I didn't kidnap him. <laughs> or did I? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Um, but yeah, somebody got kidnapped in my hometown and then like they got found and apparently they the kidnapper doesn't know the person they kidnapped and the person who got kidnapped doesn't know and there's like no connection between them. At least that's the official story. And uh, it's uh, it's very odd. Very odd. Interesting news. Yes. Hmm, indeed. Or maybe you've already got it by the time you hear this. Now, let's get to it. And by it, I mean... Okay, so I skipped back. But anyways, I'm going to show you one other way to make a selection, which is using in and out markers. I explained this in class, but I just want you all to know it and start using it if uh, you feel so inclined. Links to all stories referenced in this newscast. You're going to have to use it eventually for an assignment, so you might as well pay attention. Okay, capiche, capiche. Okay, I don't want, I don't want chat covering up my editing. And the links to all stories referenced in this newscast in the show description. Der, 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 der. Police Department, welcome to new. Yep, yeah, best behavior, mythic politics. Best behavior in the show description. <laughs> Rangeley Police Department, welcome to new patrol officer Bradley Burr, who was sworn in at the January twenty fifth town council meeting. A White River Planning Advisory Committee is set for February 9th in Rangeley. Hello. How are Watch you? Watch for another HT State of the River report in the next few weeks. Fifth grader Gracelyn Vieira won... Okay, we got another mouse sound here. Delete. Fifth grader Gracelyn Vieira won the Meeker Elementary Spelling Bee. And fifth grader Gracelyn Vieira won the Meeker Elementary Spelling Bee. Okay, so this is a probably a good example to show you. So you can see that I recorded this part twice. Uh, I don't know which take I like better. Probably the second one in the next few weeks. Fifth grader Grace... The reason I recorded it twice is because I added an and on there because it was the end of a list of things. So let's say that uh, the reason... Let's say that you want to... You know you want to start making a selection, but you don't know where it's going to end. Like, 
it's like I know that this next take isn't good, but I don't know where the start of the the good take actually is. So I'm going to make an in marker and you push I on your keyboard. Somebody in chat, do the mental work for me and tell me what I is in the military phonetic alphabet. I mean, I is pretty distinct. Do you really need it? Inigo, Inigo Montoya. You killed my father, prepared to die. Right? Indigo? Okay, it's indigo. It actually almost sounds like Inigo, you know. But you know, Inigo Montoya. Anyways. Um, so I made an in marker with I on my keyboard. I as in indigo. Thank you, Mythic Politics. And then I'm just going to play ahead. I mentioned this in class, but fifth grader Gracelyn Vieira won the Meeker. You don't want to move around your playhead by just clicking anywhere because that's going to deselect. So if you're trying to use this method to make a selection, make an in marker and then just let it play. If you feel the need to skip around, you can click these letters right up top here. Not indigo, India. <clears throat> well, whatever. Indigo, India. <clears throat> Did we get a fake news in chat? I <laughs> just guessed you. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? This is serious educational material. You understand me? No fake news. Okay. Um, fifth grader Gracelyn Vieira won the Meeker Elementary Spelling Bee. So if you're trying to move around when you're making a selection like this and you don't want to deselect, then you have to click on these numbers up here to move your playhead around so that you're not going to deselect. And the numbers are right below, you know, this view window uh, <clears throat> that I referenced earlier. So I'm going to find, I'm basically, I know this ta this whole take is, is bad. Uh, and I'm going to find where the start of the good or usable take is. And I already know it's right here. But if I was just listening to it, I could be like, your elementary spelling bee. And fifth grader Gracelyn Vieira won the Meeker Elementary Spelling Bee. Okay, that was the take I want. I know it starts here. So I'm not going to click right there. I'm just going to move my mouse to about that area, click, and then I can drag it to move it exactly where I want, somewhere around there. Okay, now that I have my in marker set and my playhead at the end of what I, where I want my selection to be, I'm going to push O, which O is, O is something. O as in O re O. Understand? Okay, delete. I don't care what the military phonetic is. You know what an Oreo is, and you know what letter it starts with. Don't test me. Oh, as the, oh like the donut. You know, like a, the second letter in donut, also what a donut shape is, an O. Watch for another HT State of the River report in the next few weeks. And fifth grader Gracelyn Vieira won the Meeker Elementary Spelling Bee. Okay, so I've basically showed you everything you need to know at this point in terms of editing. I showed you how to edit the beginning with the fade and the end with the fade. I show you how to make a selection by clicking and dragging. I've showed you how to make a selection by doing an in marker and then using the numbers up top to make an out marker without deselecting. You're gonna use these tools, tips, tricks, etc., and whatnot, which is a technical way of phrasing it, to delete, you know, mouth sounds, ums, to, uh, you know, make the, the, the timing in between words exactly the way you want them to be. If you want to not delete something from the actual time of the audio, uh, but you don't want, you know, you want to get rid of the sound there, you can go to effects and do silence. Okay. And that's about it. So um, I'm, I'm going to undo everything I'm doing now because I'm not done with this edit. But, but for the sake of time of this video, so that you don't have to watch it for too long, I'm going to show you some compression. Okay. So there are two concepts that we need to understand in compression, primarily just one concept, uh, which is threshold, okay? I've talked about this in class. I'm going to talk about it multiple times. You need to understand compression. So what compression is going to do is, or what threshold is going to do, rather. You're going to set a threshold. You're going to say anything that passes above, and when I say anything, I mean audio. This is sound design. Anything that passes above a threshold that I'm going to set is going to get turned down. How much it gets turned down is the ratio. Less important for you to understand because at this point you're just going to be using a preset. But uh, you do need to understand threshold and how to set your threshold. So I generally will use, when I'm mastering, so to speak, podcasts, I generally will use, or just spoken word, I generally will use negative six as a reference. Um... But I, I, I'm actually kind of changing my mind on this a little bit. 
So I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what to use as a reference. I would say negative nine might actually be a better reference just for vocals. You can always compress and then turn things up later. So what I'm actually going to do, I, I generally always do this, is I'm going to turn up my audio. I already turned it up by three decibels. I'm going to turn it up by another three decibels. And the reason I'm doing that is because if I go over to the right side where these numbers are and I find negative nine, I w and I trace that line from negative nine through, before I turn it up by three decibels, you can see that some of these peaks are going over that negative nine line, right? This one is um, some of the louder peaks, but only a couple, you know, like out of the out of the majority of the peaks, only a couple are going above negative nine. So I would like more of them to be going over negative nine so that I can compress this and get a louder average volume. So I don't want to turn it up too much, but I am going to just do another three decibels. Wait, did, did that not work? Okay. Um, I showed you this again in class, but this is the little amplitude tool meter thing. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but you just click in the number here, type in three, hit enter. And now if I trace negative nine over from the right, you can see that significantly more of the peaks, I would say even a majority of them are going through that line. And you'll still have some that go under, which is good. That means we're maintaining some dynamic range. We're not completely compressing this. Um, there's still going to be a difference between louder and quieter sounds, um, but this is generally pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to effects, amplitude and compression, single band compressor. I'm going to use the preset voice leveler. It's currently set at negative 10. You could leave it there. Um, I'm going to set it at negative nine based on what I just talked about. And I'm going to hit apply. And there you go. Now it's nicely evened out. Bing, bang, boom, bada bing, bada boom. And that is the last step that I want you to do. So again, I skipped ahead on mine because I didn't finish all of my editing, but I showed you how to edit all of yours using again, click and drag selection, in and out selection, as well as making a selection and then doing effects silence. So all you have to do now is file, save as. You wanna browse and go to your project folder. And then you would do, you know, name it according to, just put your name on it, okay? So I know whose it is. It's probably best if you do week three, your name, whatever. And then you wanna select a wave. Uh, save that, and then it would run its thing, and then you would do it again. Save as. You don't have to change the name. Just click where it says Format, and this time select MP3. Save that, and then you should know how to submit the assignment. That's pretty much all there is to it. For those of you in class, if you are struggling with this or you're having any issues, <laughs> week three, I'm only week two. If you're struggling or having any issues, you know how to get a hold of me. Uh, and I would encourage you to do that. <sighs> or if if this if this tutorial doesn't work for you, then um, go find a different one. It's called the internet. Use it. Okay.